uh, the tension between MakerDAO and Aave, competition, uh, collaboration, and controversial stablecoins. Um, and I saw the people talking about uh, MakerDAO and Aave are two prominent decentralized finance DeFi protocols that have been competing and collaborating in the blockchain industry since their inception. Uh, both protocols offer essential services to the DeFi ecosystem. MakerDAO provides a decentralized stablecoin, DAI, while Aave offers a decentralized lending platform. However, recent developments, including the introduction of new products and controversies surrounding stablecoins, have brought these two protocols closer together than ever before. In this article, we explore the history of collaboration and competition between MakerDAO and AV, focusing on their latest dispute regarding the use of DAI as collateral on AV's lending platform and the emergence of a controversial stablecoin, USDE, and uh, competition and collaboration. MakerDAO and Aave first crossed pads in late 2017 when MakerDAO integrated its multi-collateral DAI stablecoin system with Aave's lending platform. This integration enabled users to deposit DAI as far collateral on Aave to receive loans in various Ethereum-based assets. Over time, the relationship between the two protocols evolved, with MakerDAO introducing the single collateral DAI and multi-collateral DAI versions, and Aave developing different iterations of its lending protocol. In early 2023, MakerDAO released Spark Protocol, a fork of Aave v3 that allows users to borrow, lend, and stake DAI directly without needing intermediaries like Aave. This development has intensified the competition between the two protocols as they began providing similar services. Later that same year, Aave launched Go, an algorithmic stablecoin pegged to the US dollar, that both protocols expanding their offerings. Tension started to rise in controversial stable coins, uh, and, uh, stable coins uh, which aim to maintain a stable value uh, relative to traditional uh, currencies uh, like the US dollar have played a crucial role in the growth of the DeFi sector. However, they have also faced criticism due to their perceived complexity and potential risks. One such stablecoin, USD, developed by Affina Finance, has recently caused controversy within the DeFi community. Uh, USD uses a delta neutral trading strategy based on the difference between the spot and the future prices of Ethereum. By taking advantage of this price differential, USD aims to provide high yields to investors. However, some experts argue that USDE carries unique risks compared to other stablecoins because it relies on the continued availability of leverage provided by perpetual futures markets. Additionally, concerns have been raised about the potential impact of negative funding rates on USDE's price stability. Uh, impact on MakerDAO and Aave. Uh, uh, the controversy surrounding USD has affected both MakerDAO and Aave in several lanes. Initially, MakerDAO expressed concern about the potential risks associated with USD and its impact on DAI. To mitigate these risks, MakerDAO asked for proposals to strengthen the DAI ecosystem and reduce its dependence on USDC, another controversial stablecoin. Meanwhile, Aave's community discussed reducing the maximum loan-to-value ratio for DAI collateral, citing the potential risks associated with DuroSD. Ultimately, a compromise was reached, and the LTV ratio was reduced by 12%. Uh, conclusion, this is a, the ongoing tension between MakerDAO and Aave highlights the complexities and challenges facing the DeFi ecosystem. While both protocols compete for user base and market share, they must also navigate the evolving regulatory landscape and manage the risks associated with innovative financial instruments like stable coins. As the DeFi sector continues to grow, it is essential that developers, invest, and regulators work together to create a roll-off and secure infrastructure and fosters innovation or minimizing risks. Only then can we truly unlock the full potential of decentralized finance.